Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthies, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough to be doing it to. I'm Bush Gone Blitz, and that's the Yamato, the Tier 10 Japanese battleship. Get excited, it's not what we're going to be reviewing today. Today, we're going to be looking at the Cheech, the Chikuma, the Tier 2 Japanese HE spamming cruiser with a whole lot of funnels in the middle and a very knife like appearance when viewed from the stars. And I'm not really just doing a view of the Cheech. I'm really doing a bit of a chat and a general love fest on World of Warships Blitz in particular. This is my first World of Warships Blitz video. Um, obviously, it's just out today in the Philippines and through no strange coincidence, there's been record numbers of people resetting their iOS country of origin to the Philippines and downloading the game. Uh <laughs> which is pretty cool. The Philippines probably thinks they are really popular or their population has just got very, very techno savvy in the meantime. Not having a poke at the Philippines. Lots and lots of humans uh, play Blitz from the Philippines and lots and lots of humans play Water Warships Blitz from the Philippines. But the reason I chose the Cheech, uh, the Chikuma, to have a chat about first off is because it illustrates something that you're really going to have to learn about. You can see that bloke's on fire. Uh, he's on fire because he's been HE spammed. The Chikuma is an excellent HE spam in both. HE works a lot like it does in World of Tanks Blitz. It hits a surface, it does splash damage, and it also sets things on fire, which is what it does in World of Warships PC. That's important for this game because there's different ways of doing damage. You have torpedoes, you have big AP firing monster battleships that do all kinds of things. And you have HE spammers like the Chikuma that fire high amounts of the red stuff, set fires and do lots and lots of splash damage. Now it's a tier two. And like the American tier two, uh, the Chester, it has excellent concealment. What's concealment? You ask, see that dotted line on the minimap in the top left hand corner? That shows how far away you can be seen from. Everyone within the radius the of enemy. that circle can basically see you if you're within line of sight, which is really important. The best boats in the game for concealment are generally going to be destroyers. And then you have cruisers like the Chikuma, which has a concealment range, I believe, of about 6.7 kilometers. Um, yep, that's right. The Umikaze has a concealment range of 4.98 odd kilometers. That's the tier two Japanese DD. And they primarily deal damage through their torpedoes. You will get torpedoes on certain cruisers. You certainly generally get them on most cruisers, apart from in PC on the, uh, the American cruiser line. Um, but on the Japanese cruisers, you absolutely do tend to get torpedoes, but not at tier two. At tier two, you have secondary guns. Now, your secondary guns work at a much closer range. And to engage your secondary guns on the Chikuma, you want to press on the right area there just above the fire button, the right-hand bottom corner of the screen that you can see I am spamming on that South Carolina. Uh, I want to set fires on him. Now, you have a chance of setting fire. In the Chikuma, it's only 2% which is not tremendously large, but you've got to remember you fire an awful lot of shells. So while it's only 2%, it's 2% of an awful lot of shells fired. And when you set fires, if they have used their fire extinguisher, which you can see at the bottom in the right middle side of the screen, then they cannot repair the fire. And that's exactly what was going on there with uh, that, that battleship. He was just getting a lot of HE spam. Battleships are big targets and they are very, very easy to hit. But bearing in mind you're a cruiser, if a battleship hits you with a full broadside of AP, you will cop an absolute flogging and very, very clearly be on the path to destination shag because battleships hurt. They fire AP and they hurt. You fire HE and you're more of a damage over time boat. Cruisers that spam AP rounds, and did you see there I did 401 on a couple of those shells and 201 on a few others. Um, and that's, that's an, you're going to get different amounts of actual uh, damage depending on the amount of mitigation and where you hit the enemy boat. That's very, very important to remember as well. I'm actually reversing here. And you can see there's a, if you look at the minimap, there is an iceberg to my left. And I'm trying to use that iceberg to shield me from anyone on the left 
while I engage these guys who give me broadside on the right, that's this Chester here, and keep my bow very, very narrow. So anyone ahead of me only has a very, very narrow target to hit. That's Tactics 101. And you should be doing that all the time. I'm also reversing because if I go far enough backwards, that Chester Revel will no longer be able to see me. But he's not firing. And you're gonna see this 6.7 kilometer uh, well, he's actually got a 6.4 kilometer, I think. Um, yep, there you go. He's disappeared off the map. He is more than 6.4 kilometers away from me. He hasn't fired, so his camo is reset, and he has completely disappeared off the map. You can reset your camo in World of Warships. Now, if you're a Blitz player, that's going to be a surprise because in Blitz, everything's about the view range of you and not about the view range of the enemy. In Warships, uh, unlike Blitz... It's about a set number. You're not really going to improve your view range. What you're going to do is actually improve your concealment. And you want your concealment to be as low as possible. Because the lower your concealment, the easier it is for you to move around the battlefield without being seen. Or move around the ocean or get, get around the wet stuff without getting spotted and blown the hell up. The best boats to do this are obviously destroyers. You know, they'll be sub five kilometers uh, concealment, and that's very, very low. The worst boats you're gonna find are your battleships. Battleships have tremendously large surface detections. I'm running the Kawachi, the tier three Japanese battleship. Good job. Having a good time running it, and I'm grinding my way up to the Yamato, the tier 10 Japanese BB, which I showed you at the start, which I have quite an affection for. Um, <laughs> in World of Tanks PC, World of Warships PC. And I'm very keen on actually seeing that roll through for uh, World of Warships Blitz. I want to get the Yamato because I love it. 460 millimeter guns. Who doesn't love 460 millimeter guns? But your surface detection is massive. The Kawachi's 10 kilometers. So the Kawachi's not going to see you um, for quite some time once you spot it, which gives you the idea you can quite often set the terms of engagement when you're dealing with a battleship. But you want to kind of keep them at arm's length if you're in a cruiser. Your secondaries have a very, very short range and you have to physically swap them. Oh, sorry, I got diverted there. Um, you have to physically swap your secondaries uh, around. Um, your secondary, your secondary um, range is 5.16 kilometers, which is very, very low. But the good part about secondaries is it is actually going to allow you to engage with Ahoy, DDs every time. You can see that's me figuring out that I can actually, I can't, you can't write this stuff. That's me actually figuring out that I'm able to send voice message. I don't know how long that's going to stay in game, but um, yeah. You can send voice messages to your team, which I think is pretty hilarious, as if that's not gonna get abused. Again, I'm reversing. A very valid tactic for warships. Uh, that Mikasa Wallet Warrior, <laughs> I can't say Wallet Warrior, because I've spent 500 gold already on changing the avatar in my player Our profile, is which is just win. what I'm about. Warships is quicker than Blitz, uh, is quicker than PC World of Warships, but it's not as quick as Blitz. Like in Blitz, it's very rare that you'll finish a game with anyone left alive. But you're going to find that's going to be the case in Warships. And you're going to have to play a lot more tactically. You're going to win this on points all the time. And you've got to remember that when you get killed, you actually lose points. So you don't want to be blown up towards the end of a game if you've got a handy lead. And it can actually be that it's a good idea to play a little bit more conservatively rather than just go nuts out and get smashed. Battlestar there, that is for actually achieving the honor of uh, ranking first on your team and being the MVP. You can see you're getting blueprints and things like that. I use those to upgrade your guns. Uh, you can do that by pressing the armory button in the main area of the warship's UI. Now, when you upgrade your guns and stuff on the Chikuma, you end up with some really lovely stats. And this Chikuma stats that I'm reading out to you now, are the fully upgraded stats. Oh my god, I've um, I've got the music turned on for this game. This is one of the first games I played. So you're gonna have to go with the very, very exciting music. You'll see that the Wakataki is very, very close to me and I can switch to my secondaries and then cycle back through my secondaries to my mains. Uh, generally, you'll get about two rounds of secondaries in to one round of mains. 
and we are hitting him all over. Now, the reason I'm astern and going away is because I'm actually quite Enemy a quick boat. He's fired his torps already. He's fired the boat to uh, the left of screen. But you have HE. Now, destroyers hate HE because HE spam absolutely ruins their day. It's big, solid damage that will set them on fire, screw their modules, and absolutely wreck them because they have wafer thin amounts of armor. Now, it's not high caliber high explosive. The guns on the Chikuma are 150mm guns. Now, fast firing HE spammers are generally 150mm guns. As you move up through the ranks, you're gonna find some of the other boats, the bigger boats, they'll get 200mm HE guns. I think the Wichita is a 200mm gunboat. Um, we hit the enemy. Furious Taco, I always remember as being a 150mm gun. Uh, yep. Yeah, the Furious... No, Furious has 200mm guns. Um, happy days. Um, the situation is under control. Anyway, good sidetrack. Back to the Chikuba. This is the first video I've done for this. And while I've got quite a bit of knowledge from having played it, I heard about this for the first time about six months ago. And I played it for the first time a few weeks ago. Um, I still have questions that I want answered. Um, and as such, I don't want to extend too many. Look, ah, oh, there he is, he's on fire. He's on fire, so he doesn't have a repair kit. It means that's gonna get a full burn. So while I'm driving away, he is still losing hit points. So fire spamming is really important. And the reason I'm driving away is because I'm expecting incoming torpedoes, and indeed, that's exactly what I get. So there he goes, destroyed by fire. Very, very handy to be a fire spammer. Um, the Jakuma is not going to get played for long, right? It's not an important ship in the actual course of the game because you're going to play it for a few hours, get enough XP, and move along. And if you're like me, you're going to move to the battleship side of things. But I'm going to get to battleships, I'm going to get to um, aircraft carriers, I'm going to get to all those kind of things. It's just going to take a while to do. That's all there is to it. So I understand that people are gonna be saying, can you do a review of this? Can you do a review of that? And while that is a lovely idea, it is gonna take me a while to actually get a review of these things done. Talking of tactics, you can see here, I come over here to help out one of my fellow uh, players, and we wanna get rid of this Shakuma and Sherry Fillers over there, it wants to get stuck in. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, but, tactically speaking, you know, it might have been better off going somewhere else and turning away sooner. Because as it is, there's only a minute 35 left in the game. And although we do get the kill, Sherry fills down, we turn around. Um, there's a real player, that's Penance. Um, he's in the Chester. We do get screwed a little bit over because there's only a minute 22 left and we're down by 70 points. And we've not only got to get kills, um, we've got to stay alive as well, which means things are a little bit tough all over. And that Chester quite sensibly goes to stealth. And I can't hit him. And he's he's actually done the right thing. Because if I can't hit him, I can't kill him. And if I can't kill him, then I certainly can't win the game. And there's the Wix, uh, which is probably a little bit silly on his part. If I had been able to actually get a hold of him here, he would have been in all kinds of trouble, but I just can't. So that's the Chikuma. Just a quick broad strokes idea on why it's okay, why you play it the way I'm playing it here, why it works as a HE spammer, what it does well. It has no armor, don't expect it to tank anything. Um, it's not very good against torpedoes, as you're about to find out. And uh, yeah, we're screwed. The weeks just basically went down the throat. We had no choice. We had to engage him. Uh, it's all there was to it. And we lose it out. And a few tips on the game itself. I'm going to be coming back with a more in-depth discussion thing. If you have any questions about the game, leave them in the comments section. I'll do my very, very best to get them. And I'll maybe base the next couple of videos around some of the questions that I receive from you guys, the subscribers. Don't worry about the Blitz content. It's gonna keep pouring out. There's gonna be more and more Blitz content, more and more Boats content. I'm just gonna work harder and do more videos. And you're just gonna to have to play two games and watch more videos. 
And I hope we can do it together. Until next time, I'm Bushko and Blitz. You're all bloody lovely. Look after yourselves. Stay safe on the battlefield. And bye for now.